is Dixie. Okay, we're gonna do this. Dixie um, is just working on a conditioning program. So she tends to lose a lot of muscle on her top line, which is her back and her neck and her uh, haunch region. So when we uh, train her in the treadmill, it really helps to her to keep muscles in that area and build up her core strength. This underwater treadmill Dixie is using is just one of many high-tech tools the University of Minnesota's new Leatherdale Equine Center is using to treat and rehabilitate horses. The center is kind of like a one-stop shop for horses where services range from MRIs to acupuncture to fertility treatments. Because that's the big challenge with horses is they can't talk. So they won't tell you exactly where it is that they're sore and you have to use a lot of your skills and you have to use a lot of technology to try to pinpoint exactly what the problem is. The technology fills the rooms just as much as the horses do. So in this facility we have a lot of uh, new technology that really helps us pinpoint why horses aren't performing properly, be they race horses or riding horses, jumping horses. We see uh, almost every breed of horse uh, here at the University of Minnesota. Dr. Stephanie Valberg's favorite piece of equipment is the high-speed treadmill. The medical team uses this piece of equipment along with video endoscopy to look at the horse's breathing. Should we double that around? Yeah, one time around. Okay. okay. It's a scope that goes into crevices and orifices. And then what's special about it is it's attached with uh, fiber optic cables to a, a video system so that we can uh, travel to places that you can't see normally. But to see what's going on, they have to get the horse galloping at full speed, which is about 30 miles per hour, in place. It's an incredibly powerful feeling to stand behind a horse that's galloping and just be, you know, a hands reach away from watching them gallop. Every time I do it, I just think it's an amazingly powerful thing and they're such incredible athletes. Horses have huge lungs and they only breathe through their nose. It's only when they're galloping that they bring a lot of air into their lungs, which creates negative pressure. Then the team can see if the vocal folds are working correctly. This is what it looks like. Valberg says the university is one of the first veterinary schools in the country to specialize in rehab therapy. In terms of uh, getting horses back, into health. We have real rehabilitation therapy suite where we can do acupuncture, uh, shockwave therapy. We have an underwater treadmill that helps to train horses and bring them back into health and, and maintain joint mobility. These programs treat muscle soreness and stimulate the nerves, muscles, and tendons to heal. And that is the beauty of having everything down here because you don't have to go anywhere. He got a little worried about the camera. For Discovery News, I'm Casey D. Gardner. Oh.